versus me It was never me versus you Misunderstood Get up, had to beat those eyes Got up and I beat those eyes That's understood It was always me versus me It was never me versus you And now I'm good Wake up and I do my part Wake up and I do my job Just how I should It was always me versus me It was never me versus you Misunderstood Get up, had to beat those eyes Got up and I beat those eyes That's understood It was always me versus me It was never me versus you And now I'm good Wake up and I do my part Wake up and I do my job Just how I should I feel it all But from a history and from a culture and from an art standpoint, so much to take in. Enjoy it. Get a sense of the culture. Amazing food. You can find food everywhere, um, and it's all good. Um, and then we're going to finish up at Como, which is just as beautiful a place as you can find in, in the world. To the park. What's up, y'all? It's Quinn Berger uh, here at the Coliseum in Rome. We just touched down this morning um, and had a chance to tour a little bit of the main part of Rome and uh, the inner city. And now we're here at the Coliseum, just walking around um, and seeing the ruins, seeing what's left of it. Uh, and so far, it's been amazing. My mom actually had the opportunity to live in Naples um, for three years during high school while my grandfather was stationed here uh, with the Air Force. And for me and my brothers, this is the first opportunity that we've had to tour Italy, tour um, the country that she lived in, um, and see the experiences that she was able to have. And it's been awesome. She's here on the trip with us, and it's been great to sort of share that experience with her. I was here 40 years ago when I was in high school. My dad was stationed in Naples, and we came here a few times. Um, and so it's really nice to be able to share this unique experience with Quinn and with my husband, Seth, who's also on the trip. We're really looking forward to an exciting time in Italy. Number one, the program started in 1896. Okay, so throughout the course of the summer, there's been multiple opportunities for this particular group to learn about the history, respect the jersey. This is our first opportunity as a unit to create our own story within the history. Specific to this particular group, the staff, this group, it's our first opportunity, okay, within the history of Bucknell basketball to build our own chapter. It's exciting. We should have fun with that. All right, my Euros. We're gonna rely on you guys right now. This is your brand of basketball. We're on your side of the ocean. So as rules and travel calls and all the things that come at us for the next three games, you guys gotta lead us. All right, there's gonna be things that as, us as Americans, we just don't understand. So keep us even keel. We have a huge advantage having two guys here that have played on this side of the water. I do think collectively we need to slow down a little bit. Okay, slow down a little bit. Then, when we get the ball, get up the floor. Run your lanes, Horford lane. Pat, try to get a layup. If you need to pitch it back, pitch it back. Rule trail. All right, here we go. And you got us, man. Here we go. Turn it up. Compete on three. One, two, three. Compete. Here we go. Here we go. L, L, L. You get all the way in there on that double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nice job, man. Give me a high five, please. Got the camera on me. We just uh, got our first game under our belt. I'm really excited for our players. 
Uh, we got a win, but more importantly, it was the first opportunity for them to, to put the jersey on, compete as a unit, uh, battle through a little adversity, uh, being that the first two quarters you know, is really the first time that we've had to play against somebody else. So uh, I'm thrilled. Uh, I thought that we, we executed out of timeouts. I thought we were disruptive defensively, and uh, I'm just really happy for the team. Tiny Mike Chronicles, day one in Ferenz. What's your favorite Italian phrase? Mi piaccio e tu vestito. What's it mean? I like your outfit. Wow. Buongiorno. <laughs> oh. Quinta Costo. Quinta Costo. It's camera on me. Piacere. Hey, yeah. piacere. Tutto bene. Hey, it's mine too. Tutto bene. Ciao. All right, so you can see my head. Is it high enough? Yeah, I hope so. So welcome, my name is Carlotta or Charlotte. So we go to see the Leaning Tower. Did you see already the Leaning Tower? Yes, no? Okay, shall we enter to see it? Let's go. I was here on a foreign tour my dad was coaching uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, it was a great group of guys. We got pictures from the trip. It's really, really cool to be back now that I'm coaching back with the program. Um, we have a, a similarly great group of guys and uh, it's just a, a phenomenal experience for this group. Four newcomers and a brand new staff, a huge part of this trip is our group coming together and, uh, and kind of building that family and uh, that Bucknell Brotherhood and strengthening those bonds. And with the staff having their families here and some of our players having their families around, uh, it's just been a really, really cool experience that will ultimately propel us into the season and hopefully make us better in January, February, and March. What's up, everybody? My name is Noel Williamson. I'm a seven feet tall sophomore in the basketball team. I'm from Latvia. I grew up with my mom and little sister, who also live in Latvia. Uh, my dad lives over here in the States in Florida. Growing up, I played tennis. That was my first sport. Playing tennis, I think, was a pretty big factor in developing my feet, so I'm really good for a big man. That's one of my strong suits. I started playing basketball a little later, around the age of 11, and things got a little more serious at the age of 16 when I decided that I wanted to do basketball for a living, for life, and that's when I knew I was going over to the States one way or another, and I came over to St. Thomas More where I did my post-grad year, and then I ended up with Bucknell where I got recruited. For the biggest part of my life, I've been playing back to the basket, but Coach Griffin sees me more than a traditional big man, so he's been having me work on my jump shooting, my ball handling, really more of a perimeter skills where I can utilize my ability to move around well. We have a new group of guys, and we've been competing and working hard each day, so I believe we can make something big happen. Another great opportunity because we have no idea what they're doing. Zero. This is all about us. It's gonna be all about our connection, our communication, our competitiveness. It's gonna be all about how we move as a unit. Go, go! The level of urgency emo, right emo, now emo, emo. is about physicality, physicality.
In a setting like this, um, I think the environment can, can make experienced players a little loose from an attitude and mentality standpoint. These two are completely dialed in. Uh, they're bringing their teammates with them, and we're going to need both of them to be leaders uh, as we leave Italy. So I'm really happy for Jack that he was kind of breaking out of the shell, letting it fly a little bit, and again, Elvin is our guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in coming yeah. In. Flex, I just want to win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2 2 3 3, I'm on 10 again. What's up, Bison Nation? My name is Alec Dele, and I'm a civil engineer, senior guard from Bulgaria. I grew up playing soccer like every boy in Europe um, until one day my younger brother got me into basketball, and since then the game's just something special in our family. I came to the U.S. after my high school senior year, um, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to play Division One basketball, play at the highest level, and also um, get a degree in civil engineering from Bucknell. Being an engineer at Bucknell was a challenging three years so far, but I feel like the combination of high academics as well as highest uh, basketball division uh, prepared me for the real life. Um, I took the best from both worlds, and I feel ready for after college. Having a college degree today, is not so unique, most people have it. Having a college degree from a great school like Bucknell and having had the opportunity to play basketball in the Patriot League, that's a pretty powerful combination. It taught me discipline, it taught me the value of hard work, it taught me uh, camaraderie, but the biggest thing it taught me was to be something to be part of something bigger than yourself. And as I look around our world today, where everybody's absorbed in their social media posts and their self-promotion, that's not being something bigger than yourself. Our team just got a great opportunity to hear a bunch of really great advice from Mr. Deerstein and Mr. Grover, uh, Bucknell alum and professor. They're gonna be coming with us to our game tonight at eight. We're hopefully gonna be able to show them what we're all about. I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be feeding to the end Creep outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands Took so many years, I've been waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took a sense I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up, ain't grow, ain't grow Young roll, young roll, pay so, pay so Add it up, add it up, I'm just doing me Everything is on me, and you matter what Thinking back from, from our days, good 20 years ago at this point, you know, we, we had a similar trip that brought our team together and um, yeah, everybody that remembers us playing, I think a lot of it started with the way we did things off the court, the way we, we came together off the court um, as part of our journey to grow together on the court and then do, do some great things. Um, yeah, but, but now to thank a lot for that and still keep in touch with the guys um, that, you know, that I that I got to know very, very well throughout this experience and um, bring, bring it all together in this, in this Bucknell Brotherhood that, you know, Coach John I was also helping to, you know, get out there again. I'm really excited to see uh, where this is going to go and I'm lo really looking forward to the season. What's up everybody? Checking in from Lake Como. Our last stop, been uh, to Florence and Rome. It's our last day here. We've really been able, this is our tour guide Stefano. <laughs> Um, but it's really been it's really been an amazing trip. We've been blessed to just be able to go around the entire country and experience a different culture um, and really just spend a lot of time with each other um, and, and build a ton of relationships that, that we didn't necessarily have before. Me and my guy Pip. Yes, sir. Got anything to say to the people? Uh, 
you know, I would live here for the rest of my life, but you know, it's not really possible at this point, at this point in time, but. A few years. A few years, man, a few years. No, but really it's been, been an amazing trip. Um, and I think we're all just really, really thankful and uh, looking forward to, to getting back to Lewisburg and getting to work.